From clandestine encounters to the freedom of the streets, for the last 40 years, gay pride parades all over the world have embraced this community's passion for colourful celebrations. Homosexuality in Switzerland hasn't been a criminal offence since 1938. In Zurich, a lively gay scene developed from the 1950s onwards. The Neumarkt Theatre was the setting for legendary balls attended by gay men from all over Europe. A film now brings this era back to life. Oh, there. Heute kannst du endlich mal so sein, wie die Natur erschaffen hat. Grüß es! Weiss nicht, zu wem ich gehört. Wer ist sie? Es ist ein Herr. Das kann nicht sein. The love story that unfolds in the film between a teacher and a drag artist was in fact the story of Robi Rapp and Ernst Ostertag. They've been a couple ever since they met 58 years ago. For them, the 50s were a happy time, even though they still couldn't be completely open about their relationship in public. In Neumarkt, however, the party carried on. It was unbelievable. At that time, you were always alone. Maybe you got to know the odd person here or there, two or three people. But there, it was breathtaking. There, my heart would almost come to a complete stop. You simply led a double life. The only time you could really feel free were those evenings at the Kreis. The Kreis, or the Circle, was a network where members of the gay community could be among like-minded people. From 1943, the organisation published a magazine, first in two languages and then three. It was sent out at times to 2,000 subscribers. Although its content was openly erotic, it stayed within certain boundaries, as the authorities were constantly on the lookout for ways to censor the magazine. Full frontal photos were forbidden, slightly veiled ones, photos from behind or from the side were permitted. To avoid a scandal, the publication followed the rules. Und dann um können, de, de Durst, so in and on the side, to quench the thirst of some subscribers for full nudes, you could get in touch with the photo department. You could get an envelope with each paper with uncensored pictures in it. Sie wollen also Lehrer werden. Ah, ich sehe gerade, sie sind gar noch nicht gewählt. At the end of the 50s, the tide turned. Herr Ostertag, schauen Sie sich bitte die Fotos genau an. Murders of male prostitutes on the hustler scene were used as an excuse. The police started a register of homosexuals. They began to carry out raids and to oppress the community. Wir sind doch kein Verbrecher. The taboo, the disgust towards something which you don't talk about, that broke out right amongst us in the nice and well-mannered Switzerland. Then it started, police in every bar. They went to all the places where they knew homosexuals met. They did terrible things. They stopped people in the streets. In the back of vans, they would force you to pull down your trousers and they would check for pubic lice. The city of Zurich declared a ban on the gay balls and dances. This hit the circle's financial situation hard, and in 1967 it closed. The secrecy and the humiliation of years gone by are now far behind them. Ernst Ostertag and Robby Rapp have long since been at peace with their past. In 2003, they became the first same-sex Swiss couple to marry.